on time, Drew shows he can paint a lyrical picture very well. But the pictures he often paints here on this album, I find to be kind of dull, in my humble opinion. What Droog is talking about here is a far cry to how he explored his relationship with his Jewish and Ukrainian identity on Jewelry and Dump Yard. Those albums saw him get personal, something he does here as well, but in a way more captivating way that struck me in an emotional manner. But I'd also say that the bars on this album are not on the same level at all as they were on the Yad Fahim, Jewelry, and especially Dump Yard, which ended up being one of my favorite albums of 2020 and one of the best, most crazy rapping performances I've heard in such a long time. All of these gripes I'm mentioning now aren't even really addressing the elephant in the room with this album. At least in the room where I personally am listening to it, because people generally seem to be loving time. The elephant in the room for me is the production, which generally lacks an it factor. The beats here are often very smooth and noticeably less grimy than what was seen on his previous albums, not including transportation. Which leads me to think that there was a conscious effort to focus the listener's attention on Droog's lyricism, which makes sense. Rarely do these beats leave an impression on me, which is a shame because Droog usually selects great beats to rap over. There's just no personality in these beats that make them feel unique or impactful at all. The listless nature of many of these beats compounded with the less than always interesting lyrical content from Drew, makes time an album that sees Drew unfortunately come back down to earth.